This is a video how to safely and easily remove a Vista Dome from a Mark's passenger car for um, custom painting. Um, one of the first things you want to do, because we're going to be uh, applying heat to it, is we need to remove the window strips. If you notice, there's little pegs in there. There's three on the bottom, two on the top, and then there's a peg on each end. Uh, I've already taken a small, thin-bladed screwdriver and pried them up and then also used a pair of needle nose pliers to get them straightened out and then you should be able to easily remove the window strip right out of there just by inserting your finger under there it should just pop the strip right out pop it off the three on the bottom the two on the ends and then it should be able to just tip it up forward and it'll pop right out these are still in pretty nice shape so they're reusable. Uh, there might be broken pieces like here, but all that does is require a little bit of scotch tape when you go to reassemble the car. If you notice, the, the uh, little vinyl pegs in there are, are bent at about a 45 degree angle. That's to hold the, uh, the dome in place. So what we'll be doing is applying heat to each one and then trying to straighten it as much as we can so that we can gently loosen the dome out. Okay, so now we'll apply heat. I keep my hand on the, the bottom of the, or the roof of the car and then I can feel how hot the uh, car is actually getting. Once it gets up to where I want it, I grab a pair of pliers, or tweezers, just gently feel, just, just gently try to straighten them. Don't be afraid to keep applying heat. Try to straighten them out as much as I can. If you feel I'm giving you some resistance, I'll just apply a little more heat. Not for very long though. Just gently straighten it. Just keep trying to straighten them. pretty well straightened. Just try to see if you can apply a little pressure to the peg to see if the, uh, the dome will start to move, to start to loosen. Then if you notice it's starting to pop up a little bit. So if you get a screwdriver and just gently, very gently underneath it, you can start to pop it up. Pop it up on one side first. And there, freeze this side, and just come over again, gently push, push the peg on the bottom, and just gently pop them out, and poof, there they are, all six. You haven't lost a, haven't lost a one yet. Now you just take soap and water and a toothbrush, and you can clean the the Vista Dome up pretty nicely. To reassemble your Vista Dome is about the same process. So as it was to take it off. Again, you start by putting the three pegs in on one side. And you should be able to just gently line the pegs back up. Make sure they're lined up with a hole. And just slowly pop them right back in. If they don't go in easily, uh, just uh, once again apply heat to them because sometimes uh, after sitting out, because remember they've been sitting 50 years in a 45 degree angle, just apply the heat, just gently straighten them, and then just gently work them back into the car. Then you just gently have them in, and there again, if you take your time. We're just keeping in mind that the uh, cars are 50, 60 years old. So, but one thing with applying the heat, it uh, seems to revitalize the plastic and make it pliable again. Also, always remember to take your windows out first. These are still in pretty good shape, so they can be reused. Um, 
some of the areas might get a little uh, broken like this, but you can just scotch tape these back in. And the uh, this method can also be used for the full Vista Dome to heat up the dome and uh, to make it more pliable. But uh, especially remember though to remove the uh, the clear window or the uh, frosted window inserts that are in those full Vista Domes or the um, heat will melt them in a short order. So, uh, and that's how um, you remove a, a Vista Dome from a Mark's passenger car.